How's it going, David Comic Book Investments? So every Tuesday, I like to go through the trending comics of the week. Um, I've been changing it up recently. I'm just trying to find something that works. I used to do cover prices, weekly top 10, and I just felt like me personally, I wasn't giving you the best that I could give you because based they just kind of give aggregated data based off what's hot and usually i'm always like pass don't buy that don't buy that this is garbage blah blah and so i feel like i'm not giving you my best and so i decided to kind of change it up and if you notice the last couple of weeks i've been changing it up so i'm subscribed to you know key collector go collect um and cover price and I basically what I'm doing now is I'm going through their top 10 lists and kind of picking and choosing and kind of this reading different articles and different things and kind of giving you a better list of just better comics. Um, so I hope you like this format. I'm still evolving it, trying to figure it out, seeing what works and doesn't work for me and for you. But I feel like this is going to be a little bit better. So let me know what you think. And let's just get right into it. All right, first on the list, this will be trending comics. I'm just going to do a little of each, and you can kind of figure out. Uh, trending comics, Superior Spider-Man number one. This was on my speculation list last week, and I hope this is not why it's just massively boosted in sales, because this wasn't on any trending list and it was a speculation, and then it's up like 900%. So <laughs> I hope it's not because of me. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you the list and give you my uh, input as a comic book uh, dealer for the last like 13 years. So this was pure speculation. That's why I was on the spec list. Now it's made its way to the trending list, up like 900% or something like that. Just crazy stuff. The reason why is in Doctor Strange 2, in the trailer, he goes to different uh, multiverses. So they're thinking in one of them, they see something that looks like Superior Spider-Man or Superior Iron Man, and that's this first appearance in this comic. So that's why it's up. So it's still kind of speculation, but it's also trending upwards. Uh, do with it your will. I don't know. There's some speculation that Tom Cruise is going to be playing as Iron Man. And if you don't know, the history of that is the studio originally wanted to cast Tom Cruise as Iron Man before Robert Downey Jr. But John Favreau wanted Robert Downey Jr. And the rest is history. All right, moving on. Next on the trending list, we got uh, New Avengers. Crap, I can't really see this. Uh, number seven, full disclosure, I personally have... I don't know, a handful of copies, probably like eight copies of this. Um, off to CGC they go. So that's full disclosure, just letting you know that I do have some. So I don't want you know this to seem like I'm pushing something. But there, are, it'll be a while till I get them back. But anyways, this is the first appearance of the Illuminati. This is you know, of course, trending because in once again in the trailer. Uh, Patrick Stewart, who plays Professor X, his voice can be heard, and people are speculating. The Illuminati also shows like, like kind of like a throne room chair scene in there as well. So a lot of speculation, but I feel like this is a pretty sure bet that there's going to be some form of the Illuminati. Just cracked my knuckles. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that. So that's why this was trending. Next we got is Avengers uh, 186. And... This is where the Scarlet Witch gets possessed by, you know, it's funny. Everyone says I'm terrible with names, which I am. I looked up how to pronounce this word, this name, before I did this, and I already forgot it. Chitarn, Chitan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's C-H-T-R-O-N, something like that. Anyways, this is... <clears throat> this is going up quite a bit because they think that she's going to be uh, possessed in the Doctor Strange show. Sad story about this. Well, sad on my part. I got a run of Avengers. What number is this again? 186. I got a run of Avengers like 170 to 195. It was right before it was, I got the first cameo of Taskmaster. Uh, I'm talking 96s and 98s, all of them. And... I probably had 30 copies of this, just just long boxes full of like this run of all the same stuff. 
I would sell that thing for like five dollars. I think like a nine eight goes for like a thousand dollars or something ridiculous. I'm like, oh my god, I've been sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> and this wasn't that long ago. This was like two years ago, three years ago. Oh my god. Ugh. But nonetheless, I don't have any more copies. I wish I did. Oh man, I remember I sent one copy of this. I'm like, oh, I'll just send one. It came back a 9.8 and I sold it a long time ago for probably a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, I remember too. I remember like going through them like, why? Wow, so many of these. There's so many trying to get rid of them. Anyways, my personal opinion on this book is I don't think that scenario is going to pan out. I don't think that she will end up being possessed. So, to me, I don't think that is likely to happen. All right, moving on. Now we got um, speculation. All right, so the first spec book up is we have uh, Super Friends number seven. And this is the first appearance of the Wonder Twins. Now, why is this a speculation? Because in the works is an HBO, I believe it's HBO Max, or maybe it's Paramount Plus. One of those streaming services is making some kind of content with the Wonder Twins. There's a couple other books uh, out there to get uh, as well. You know, Wonder Twins, I think one from, I want to say the 90s, early 2000s, that's like their first uh, first uh, comic book, solo comic book. Um, but I would say this is a speculation. Me personally, I would pick up a few copies. I'm actually looking for a few copies myself. Uh, they're just really expensive because it's not a very popular book to begin with. So it's not like people had like oh, 100 copies up online, you know, ready to be snagged up. It's more of like there's only a few copies and now they're just going for outrageous prices. Like I saw something, it was like a 4.0 and it was, the bids were already up to like a, like a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, oh, good Lord, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's a speculation. All right, moving on. We got Ultimate Fantastic Four 22. This is the first appearance of Marvel Zombies. And, and the MCU, Disney, and all that, they're planning on doing... a Because Marvel Zombies was in the What If series, but they're planning on doing a full, I believe, animated film or something like that. So that's why this is on this list. I think this will move past the realm of speculation to probably a foregone conclusion. Most of what Marvel says usually comes true. Next, we got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number seven. Lots of number sevens. Lucky number seven. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if this is, is this number seven on the list? Or is this number six? I think this is number six. Anyways, so this, a lot of people are assuming that they casted Dakota Johnson or some, some actress to play Madam Web. And they're like, oh, she's kind of young. So they're thinking actually this will actually be Spider-Woman 2. And this is her first appearance in this book. Another sad story, but kind of a little more happy ending. I literally had probably 30, 40 copies of this. And I've been selling them over the past year. And um, because it wasn't really worth anything up until like a few months ago. But just yesterday, I was looking through some bins and I found like five copies of this, all between like nine fours and nine eights. So I will go back downstairs after this and I will grab those and off the CGC they will go. So it kind of worked out a little better this time. Not as much as that Avengers though. God, that was like, a, it's like a thousand dollars or something like that. I don't know what these go for, probably not close to that. Anyways, once again, this is speculation. All we know is Dakota was cast. They're making a Madam Web, but that's about it. So, will it be Spider-Woman 2? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Speculation. All right, moving on. Now we got Keeping an Eye Out. This is where books are more like, start thinking about these books because they're probably going to get even more expensive than they are. All right, we got Fighting Five, number 40. This is the first appearance of Peacemaker. If you haven't seen Peacemaker on HBO Max, I highly recommend it. I really love that show. It was... I thought it looked stupid, and then they came out with that YouTube of the intro song, and I thought it was dumb, the intro song. I actually skipped the intro song all the time, um, and I was like, I'm, I'm passing. And I didn't even watch it until, like, episode three was out, and then I, like, because I, I was so over the book of Boba Fett, I was like, I'm not going to waste my time on Boba. What else is on? I'm like, I'll give Peacemaker a try. 
and they had three episodes out and boom i ended up watching and then loved it and then every week it would come out i'm watching it so definitely keeping your eye out on this one they're making a season two it's already been in the works it was actually it, the, the the final episode was actually the most watched episode out of everything on hbo max which is crazy to me so which means that's good because compared to episode one you think usually episode one everyone watches episode one and then it trails off but people were building so that's great uh like i said watch it if you haven't seen it so i would keep my eye out on this book i think it's it, they'll hit this lull period where because there will be no news from peacemaker 2 uh, coming out and then it'll just go up again. So it'll kind of dip a little bit, but it should go back. So keep your eye on that one. Next, we got Star Trek number one. Now, uh, Paramount Plus just came out with a whole slew of just crazy amounts of stuff that they're coming out with, and they're really trying to make their Paramount stuff work. Um, so they own Star Trek. I think Paramount Plus is like 90% random Star Trek stuff. So they're making a Star Trek 4, which I announced. So this book has been heating up tremendously. It's still in the works, but it's probably going to happen. This is regardless of this movie or not. It's Star Trek 1. Old, you know, I think this is Silver Age era. So yeah. Uh, last on my list is um, to keep an eye out for is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 1. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, good. Um, I would get any printing. Fourth is the least desired, so you want to go first, second, third, fifth, then fourth uh, printings. Uh, they On Paramount Plus, they announced a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated film by Seth Rogen. Don't know. Hopefully, it's good. And it's an animated film. They just came out with the logo, like released the logo, so it's definitely most likely going to happen. Paramount Plus owns Nickelodeon, so... Nickelodeon owns the turtles. So this is definitely one to keep your eye out. But this is this is, should have been on everyone's radar forever. And you, if you have the opportunity to pick a first edition up, first printing, definitely do it. If you already have one, hold it. I would not sell that thing. Um, so yeah, definitely pick an eye out. Uh, if I had to pick one book on this list, you already know what it's going to be. It's going to be turtles. <laughs> if I had to pick one book on this list, definitely turtles. That would be the one book I would pick up. I personally have been holding back copies. I sold a few, been holding back some. I do not have any first prints. That is, you know, it's funny. I've had more gobbledygooks one and two than I had. I've never even had a first print, but I've had gobbledygooks one and two. I've had three or four sets of them, and they only made 50 each of those. So crazy. I would love to get a Turtles one first print one of these days. They're just so bloody expensive. God. Uh, yeah, so that is my list. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this kind of style that I'm doing, kind of mixing it up. I feel like the other one, uh, I just feel like you guys didn't get enough out of it um, because it was always like pass, 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 pass. And many commenters would also say, if it's on cover prices trending or whatever, then it's already too late. And that, I kind of like understood that. So I'm trying to curate it better. All right, have a good day.